good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition Macho Man Randy Savage figure. Now, this is our second iteration of Macho Man. Actually, third if you count the crowdfunder that we should be getting later this year. We did have an Ultimate Edition back in the series with Edge, and that figure completely shocked me. This one could do the same. I know a lot of people are going crazy over this figure right now. I actually stumbled across it on accident. I was just taking my son, me and my wife took my son to Let's Play. If you guys don't know what Let's Play is, it's kind of like a playhouse deal. It's like 45 minutes from our house, so when we drove out there, it's right beside a Target. I said, I gotta go into this Target and find out, you know, just to see what's happening. Go in there, bam, two Macho Man just chilling on the shelf. And I'm actually an idiot because I had, I, I bought two of them because there was only two. I bought both because I want one men on card, one loose. Well, my idiot self had them in the bag sitting behind the driver's seat, and I adjusted the seat, and it crushed them both. It crushed them both, and now they're both heavily damaged. So now, I have to search out a men on card version. So now I'm gonna have two of these loose. I guess one to display each shirt, I guess. I, I don't know. And then I'll have to get another one for men on card. So that's my story for this figure so far. But here's the beautiful front viewing window. You guys know this is a Legends figure. It is Target exclusive. Just like the Batista figure we just saw. There's Macho Man in all his glory. Front viewing window with all the stuff. WWE Ultimate Edition down here. Beautiful image of Macho here. There's the Legends logo. Go. You guys know how they are at Target. You got an image of the figure here. Macho Man Randy Savage. WWE Legends logo here. Some bio info here. And down here, if you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Beautiful shot of Macho there. On the side, you get his name. And not much more going on with it, man. But let's crack Macho Man Randy Savage out of his packaging. Get him going and find out what this figure is all about. So here is Macho Man out of his packaging, spinning round and round. Liking what I'm seeing so far, pretty impressed with this figure, man. You know, you don't you don't get this every day. I, I looked at it, and I thought, oh, it's just probably just going to be kind of like a slight repaint, like a little bit of bells here. And no, I'm actually quite impressed with it. Much like the first go-around with the first Macho Man, I wasn't that hyped for the first Macho Man. I didn't really care for the gear. I like the white jacket, but uh, I was blown away by that figure by the end of the review. And I think when I did review that figure, I think I lost the footage, like the camera. I, I sat there and recorded the whole thing. It was him and Edge in one review, and I sat there and recorded the whole thing, and then apparently at the end of the review, there was no footage, Brad, so I completely had to redo the entire thing. Very awful, but this one will be different, so this should be very fun. Can't wait to dive into this Macho Man, find out all the details, but what we're going to do is cover his accessories first and everything you get with Macho Man, then we'll run it back and look at the figure itself closely and take a look at some comparisons. So diving into Macho Man's accessories, man, you get a decent amount right here. I'm only concerned about the lack of interchangeable hands. It just seems like a lot of Ultimate Editions, most of the time have like three or four pair and we only get two pair here which i think it could have benefited from maybe some pointing hands or some fisted hands or something like that but you do get some decent accessories here let's start off with the head skulls because i feel like this is the main portion of an ultimate edition that a lot of people are like what the hell was that on his chin there but this one's a little bit weird he's kind of like looking up I feel like my eyes might be a bit off i'm not really that concerned about macho man's like head sculpts without the glasses because i feel like most people are going to pose him with the glasses on so we have seen this head sculpt before i'm pretty Pretty sure it's just you're smiling like kind of looking up straight ahead see i swear to god that's misprinted a, a little bit but we also have the pissed off expression and he looks a bit cross-eyed here as well i like this one better than the other one but it does look a bit cross-eyed they look a lot better with the glasses on which we'll cover here in a moment but then we have this new head sculpt with the tongue sticking out which kind of was a controversy everybody was like when the hell was he sticking his tongue out i don't really mind it that much but it is a bit odd but you know it is what it is you know we had finn balor with his tongue out with a demon head sculpt that makes a bit more sense but you guys get the point there you got your serious face and then your tongue out head sculpt and then if you guys wanted to see if you want to see what the sick macho glasses look like on here they look pretty good the deco is pretty good on these stick that on there that looks a lot better doesn't it uh the sunglasses just look so much better to me they fit the head sculpts really good as well i think my favorite is the pissed off expression stick those on there they don't go on this head sculpt as good as i'd like or at least from my experience right here they don't go on as easy as i'd like but, uh, i mean it's not bad it's not terrible but there is that it looks a lot better then you can also put the glasses onto the smiling expression and they do seem to go on here pretty easy compared to the other head sculpts but one thing i've also noticed is i feel like the headband accessory that you get with the madness logo looks really good it looks just like the headband to me at least you know maybe the deco could be a tad better but it's got the madness logo on there i feel like this doesn't fit on some of the head sculpts as well as i'd like there's that one it fits on this one decent enough you know like it'll stay on there but i feel like on one of these heads i can't remember exactly 
which one it is. But you try to put this on here and it doesn't quite go all the way on. Uh, the pissed off expression, it kind of just sits on there. It doesn't really hug the head, if that makes sense. So it doesn't really hug it. It just kind of sits on there and you got to be careful. So that doesn't fit that head that well. And then for the tongue out expression, it uh, is the same way a bit. You know, it, it doesn't really plug and hug onto the head. It, if you like flick it just a little, it will pop off. This is better than this, the serious expression though. But there's the head sculpts. There's the glasses. There's the bandana that we covered. But you also get his weight belt, which looks pretty cool. Or just his regular belt, I guess you could say. I guess it's technically, this is a weight belt. But it says madness there with the white and black negative space lettering. You do have the clip in the front. It does go around the waist. It fits the figure pretty tight too. So if you put this around the waist, it fits pretty good. You guys will see that when we cover the figure itself. But there's the belt buckle. It looks really good. Nice coloration on there. So there's the weight belt. You also get interchangeable hands. You have your mic holding hands, which look really weird to me. They don't look like typical, you know, just regular hands. They they have like a gloved sculpt on there, as you guys can see with the line work. But they have a really weird, like, mic holding grip. Like, this is a mic holding grip, and it seems more closed than other figures that we've seen. So I don't know. It's just very odd looking to me. I don't know what that is or why that is, but there's the case. You also have the wide open hands that also have the gloves sculpted on there, which look good. This is nice skin tone, nice black coloration. You do have the black pegs, which is nice. So these look really good as well as far as the sculpt and stuff, but these are the only two interchangeable hands you get. You get the wide open hands and you get the mic holding hands. And last but not least, we do get our cloth goods. You have the NWO Madness Macho Man shirt here with the white and black text. It's on the front and back. There's no Velcro on this, so it's Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate Edition all over again. You get the V cut right there, and then you get the triangle cut patterns here. Now, pretty sure it's supposed to be the tassels, right? It's supposed to be the tassel look, but that is not what we get here. And if you guys want to put this on the figure, you do have to like point the arms up like so and indent the butterfly joints. That's my best experience there. And then you will, you know, pull this over the top, push the arms through, and then come from behind and pull this through like so. So you pull that on, and here's what the shirt looks like on there. I feel like the shoulder pieces are a bit floaty, but they get the point across, right? Like they get the point across. I'm not gonna like bury it for that, not having tassels, but I think it would have been a lot better. But it does kind of it give it gives it kind of a floating look, right? It's it's not like hanging down, have weight to it. But I think it does get the job done. It's just a bit of an odd choice there. I, I don't really know what else they could have done. It's because of this material. This material is why it's like this. If this was like regular cotton or cloth that the shirt was made out of, it would hang down. But you know that I mean these are supposed to be mass produced. And then you get another interchangeable shirt, which is also no Velcro, which is really nice. Same effect there, but it is the NWO Macho Man cage shirt where you do have, you know, Macho Man. It's very, I don't know why this graphic looks so grainy and garbage. You can find this shirt on eBay with a perfect clear look at the graphic, and I don't know if they didn't have access to the graphic, but I, I don't know. It just looks like this is really grainy and hard to tell what this is, but it is Macho Man behind bars there, and he's grabbing the bars, and it's caged Macho Man in there, so I don't know. They could have, I feel like they could have done better, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know what to say. At least we have no Velcro, but there are some, uh, there are some pretty upsetting things about this, though. So getting into Macho Man, starting out with the head sculpt, man, you do have the bandana glasses and everything on the smiling head sculpt here, just to see, you know, and give you guys, like, kind of what that looks like to the neck ratio right there. I like this torso they chose. You do have the butterfly joints in here. Arms, I guess they work out. You know, they're kind of the HBK tone. Maybe they could have been a bit bigger or whatever, but I'm pretty sure these are the same arms they use there on the elites he used to have he used to have like way bigger arms than this but doesn't really bother me that much it still looks proportionate and everything you got your white wrist tape there's your black gloved hands here is the weight belt or the belt all the way around it looks pretty good on here and you know you can like pull that down and then you can articulate the waist so it's not gonna like hinder it or anything like that going down you got the black tights you do have the nice fringe on there that is sculpted all the fringe and the different tassels coming down off the side and white you do have white pegs in there no pinless in here but it's pretty cool the sculpt of the tights looks really good and then you also have the white boots here that do have the toe articulation and they have these are newly sculpted boots because we have these tassels coming off the back here that are sculpted on there like this is its own piece they're not removable they they look good on there they go good on there and the white boots look really really good so and you can also articulate this all the way around so it does get a bit hung right there but you can't push that on past and then you know you don't have any issues but you got the black laces on the white boots I like this Macho Man a lot. I think I like it better than his first go around. I think I could say that with, with all honesty and all truth there. I don't think I have a lot of issues with this figure. I like the way it looks. I like the proportions of it. I, I like it a lot. Really nice little Macho Man figure. But let's get into some Macho Man figure comparisons. So for your Macho Man figure comparisons, here is a couple of 
Elite Machos up next to the last Ultimate Edition that we got. And I like this one up next to it. It's a bit different than the rest of them. You know, he always had the colorful and bright gears. This one's a bit different. I do not have the first ever ringside exclusive there. NWO Macho that, you know, was highly sought after. I'm sure that one's going to dip in price after the release of this one and the release of the Crowdfunder that we're going to be getting later this year, which we will compare to this figure, of course. They're very, very similar. I don't know which one I like better because I don't have that one in hand, but I am a big fan of black and white contrast, and this one has that. That one's going to have that. It does have a claw checkerboard jacket, which I am looking forward to, so we're going to have to see all that, but I like all these up to, next to each other. I wish I had more macho men slowly trying to build up that collection. I've sold off a lot of them back in the day. Need to recollect those, get those back in hand, but it is cool to see this macho up next to the rest of them. And one thing that I forgot to mention, actually, in our review of the figure itself is right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some slight staining on the shoulder right there. It's very hard to see there. And then on this side, in this dip of the shoulder, there, that right there, it's a lot more prominent in person, but that little shade right there on the shoulder is there completely. It's a pretty dark little shade there, and I can't get it off. So, this shirt stains. The shirt totally stains the figure. I can say it with the utmost confidence that it does stain, so that sucks eggs, man. I don't know how to get over that, and once I put the shirt on there, it's probably on there forever. So, that's pretty That's pretty damn bummy. And then for your other Ultimate Edition NWO comparison, here is the Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Edition up next to the NWO Macho man exclusive. I feel like this Hogan towers over this macho man, but I guess Hogan was a bit taller than him. It just, just looks kind of ridiculous here, but I guess that makes sense. Even though this was short-lived, it is cool to have these two up next to each other here, and I don't know why, but I feel like we're gonna have, like, everybody in the NWO in Ultimate Edition before it's all said and done. But that pretty much wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition review of the WWE Legends Macho Man Randy Savage figure. Target exclusive, by the way. Do not forget that. It is a Target exclusive. Only way you can grab it is at Target. Maybe you can find it in the aftermarket. I do not know what the going price is. I haven't even looked at it. I just saw where people were finding it. So I tried my hand at a couple targets and bam, I found it. Very blessed and highly favored. Quote that every single day. I am upset about the staining on the shoulder. I cannot believe that we're still dealing with that. Not only on the Jazzwares deal, but on the Mattel deal. Maybe that's because of the no Velcro, which I really, really enjoy though. I don't know how often I'll have this without the shirt. You guys know that I do have my other version. I don't know if I'll do without the shirt or I'll put the extra shirt on there. I'd really like them to figure out a way to do the tassels instead of just the triangle cut. That would be pretty cool. But I still like the figure. I think it's a pretty fun one. Had a lot of fun with the review. I like the head sculpts. The smiling head had a bit of a, a wonkiness to it, but you know, it is what it is. These hands are also kind of weird, just the shape of them. How he's like making that sea claw type mic holding hand type hand, but he has nothing to hold. I think fists would have been nice to see here. I think I really would have liked to see fists. I feel like this is one ultimate edition where we don't get a ton of interchangeable hands. Maybe a pointing finger or something. However, I do like the figure. I think you guys are going to enjoy it if you're a macho fan or you guys are looking for this figure, it is out there, so be on the hunt. I imagine it'll be everywhere very, very soon. You know, I think it'll be easy to get your hands on. Like Batista, like Batista was kind of difficult to get your hands on until it started appearing everywhere. Hopefully that'll be the case for the Macho Man. I gotta get another one because of the dead gum. I, I cannot believe I freaking F that up, man. I crushed the box with my seat. Hate to see it. But anyways, man, before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout-out. This shout-out's gonna go to Connor Clark, who says, when it comes to the ranking of every Elite series, I can already tell that Elite 60 is going to be top three. Elite 69 is a very, very good wave, and we will have to see where it comes in, Brad. Very, very good wave. Very, very good wave indeed. A lot of people love that wave, and I think to rank those series, I'm going to have to, you know, take into account different things. I'm going to have to come up with some criteria of exactly how I want to do it, you know, and, and figure out exactly how we want to do that. That way, you know, the scale is it skewed in some way by recency bias and stuff like that. I want to keep it legit down the middle and everything like that, but a huge shout out to Connor Clark for that, for that comment there. If you guys would like a random shout out in the video, comment something below, and you could end up with a random shout out, but that does it for the Macho Man Ultimate Edition review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day, and without fists or pointing finger hands, I think this figure indeed. Cross the line, I've been...